Hello, Cardinals. It's Mr. Mon, and I want to go over Investigation 4.4 Part B today. Uh, we're going to be using simple models of plate movement and to uh, focus on how the movement of different lithospheric plates lead to changes in Earth's surface. Before we start that today, we want to review what we did yesterday. Uh, D through H, talking about colliding plates, what happens, creating mountains and trenches and oceanic crust versus continental crust, basically reflecting on yesterday's investigation. And then we want to go to the objective page and figure out what had happened um, when the lithospheric plates collided, separated, and slid past each other. So just a chance to reflect upon what we did in yesterday's lab. Today's lab, we're going to be using a model to construct a, an explanation of the movement of the plates as they collide, separate, and slide past each other. We're going to be using um, these models um, to, it's going to model Earth's interior and then how that connects to the surface. These are called the moving plates model. Um, your teacher is going to demonstrate this for you. You're going to be watching the belts turn um, and then you're going to watch the plates on top move. And then you have a lot of answers to record as we go through part B. Um, showing you how North America, Africa, and, and South America um, relate to each other, how they connect, how they um, fit into each other. And then you're also going to be looking at the landforms that they create. Um, with the belts, again, your teacher is going to show you um, how they work and you're going to see how the continents fit together and why do you th or how do you think this may have happened. And then looking at South America and Africa as uh, puzzle pieces, how they how they slide together. Um, if your class has a relief globe, you're going to be comparing the shapes um, and then the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and uh, possibly some different mountain ranges and see how they fit to each other. So as you can see here um, in the video, um, you have the North American plate and the African plate, and you can see what happens um, when they move um, and what will happen when they collide. And then you need to read, building your knowledge, colliding, sliding, and separate plates and answer the following questions. Finally, if you have a relief globe, um, locate the mountains, islands of Japan, rift valleys, and a lot of questions to answer with that. And then in your notebook, thinking about how the different plates move and what landforms each different um, each different collision would create. So uh, today we're doing part B, page uh, steps 10 to 19. Make sure you're getting 11, 12, 15, 17, 18, and 19 in your notebook. Um, if you have a relief globe, um, it would be very helpful. And then you have some vocabulary to finish up. So uh, have a great day, Cardinals, and let your teacher know if you have any questions.